tells us that Sam manages an amusement park and there's a busy part of the day and a not so busy part of the day. The busy part of the day we refer to as the peak period and the not so busy part we refer to as the off peak period. Inverse demand during the peak period is given by price of peak is equal to 20 minus 0.25 quantity of peak. Inverse demand in the not so busy part, the off peak period is given by price of off peak is equal to 18 minus 0.5 quantity of off peak. The marginal cost of a seat below the park's capacity is $2.59, and the cost of an additional unit of capacity is $8.04. If Sam charges optimal peak and off-peak prices, how much profit does he make? So the first thing we want to discuss is what is this extra additional unit of capacity cost and why is it relevant? So let's start by writing our profit during a peak period. The profit during a peak period takes the total revenue from the peak period, which is the price times the quantity, or the 20 minus 0.25 QP times QP, and then minus its total cost, where total cost is not only the cost below the park's capacity of $2.59, but also an additional unit of capacity cost of $8.04. The reason this is is because our peak period determines our capacity. Take a restaurant as an example. If you're trying to figure out how many seats and how many tables to put in your restaurant, you want to use the information from the busiest part of the day to make that decision. So the busiest part of the day determines capacity. So we're only going to see that 8.04 with QP. We're never going to see it with QO. Now we're ready to take the derivative of this thing and with respect to QP. Setting it equal to zero, we can solve. Doing some algebra here, we find that the quantity in a peak period is equal to 18.47. We can do the same process with respect to off-peak, except now notice there is no 8.04, just the 2.59 of, of the cost of a seat below the park's capacity. We take this derivative, we set it equal to zero, and we can solve for our quantity in off-peak to be equal to 15.41. Before we move forward, we have to make sure that what we have found makes sense. So the quantity that we plan to sell during the busy part of the day must be greater than the quantity that we plan to sell during the not so busy part of the day. Makes sense. So QP must be greater than QO. And in fact, in our example, it is. 18.74 is indeed greater than 15.41, so we're ready to move on. To find total profit, we're going to add the profit from the peak period to the profit from the off-peak period. So remember our profit peak period formula. Now we're going to plug in 18.74 everywhere we see a QP and we solve for profit during the peak period to be 87.794. Likewise, for the off-peak period, we remember the formula, but now plugging in 15.41 everywhere we see QO, and we solve for the profit in the off-peak period to be equal to 118.736. Adding these two profits together, we get our total profit of $206.53.